Actually, I got the racks with me. Rex, actually, I got the recipe. Yeah, actually, these nigga mad at me. Why? Mad at me, cause I smash this freak. Damn. It's your world, it's my world, it's Vontae's world. What's good, YouTube? Man, I'm back with another video today, man. I gotta, um, I actually need a uh, oil change on my Dodge Charger, so I'm about to go ahead and knock that out real quick. Easy, simple job, you know what I'm saying? I got tired of paying, paying fucking. $50, $60 to get an oil change and you know they putting recycled oil in my shit so I just started doing my own oil change like shit is easy as hell like once you do it the first time it's like so simple so I'm about to just go ahead and show y'all uh, me doing this oil change real quick and um you know hopefully there's some people watching that can they can use this to save they sell some money you know what I'm saying just take a little bit of a little bit of time you know what I'm saying couple tools but it's an easy job man and it's simple so we're gonna get right into it so this is what you're gonna need right here i believe the best oil to use is this pins oil for chargers um you can check your owner's manual see which one works best for you and um mine takes about six six and a half quarts first thing you want to do is jack the car up so you can get underneath it and get to the oil pan so about to go ahead and grab my jack and pop this boy up real quick and if y'all wondering why i've been wearing the same shit in like the last couple videos is we really i'll be filming these videos in the same day and i i wear the same shit when i work on cars <laughs> got it jacked up just enough for me to be able to get up under there and squeeze up under there all right so you're gonna need a 16 millimeter to get this bolt off right here okay Now once you get it loose, go ahead and move your pan into position. Once you get that bolt loose, move your pan into the position and go ahead and um, finish loosening it by hand. And you want to keep up with this uh, while your oil is draining and make sure you don't like leave it on the ground or anything like that because if you get any contaminants or anything uh, that can go right back into your engine to mess your whole engine up so uh, make sure you keep this in a nice safe place so while it's finished draining out I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and um, change the oil filter You know, yeah, so I got the, um, you know what I'm saying, the red covers, so you dig, but the oil filter is going to be right here, so you're going to need like a, um, either a socket wrench or some pliers or something to loosen that up and then pop that out and put the new one in. Grab your flathead, remove this band.
put this in on the inside push it in until you hear a click Back up under the car. Give it a little wipe down. Go ahead, put the boat back on. Back going there nice and tight. Had to go throw on the jacket, man. It got a little cold out here, but just like that, a quick and simple, easy oil change, man. That fast, that simple. I'm gonna get in the car and start it up, and then we're gonna check the oil, and then that's pretty much it. Go ahead, give it a, give it a good start. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys too. Depending on how long it's been since you had your last oil change, you might have a um, oil light on in your car. I don't, because I change my oil frequently, but in, if you do have that, uh, all you gotta do is put your car, push the uh, push the start button two times till it's in the run position, but don't start the car. And then while it's in that position, push down the brake three times, and then go ahead and start it. And then that should clear your light up, and you should be all good after that, but. Yeah, man, just like that, quick and simple, easy oil change. Give it some quick revs. Right, let's check the oil. Yeah, man, sorry y'all couldn't see my oil line, but the oil is all good. Everything's checked out. Um, yeah, like I said, man, it's just pretty simple, easy oil change. You know, it's not too hard. It's actually easy as fuck. Um, once you do it one time, I think you'll really see how easy it is. You probably never pay to get your oil changed again, except for in the wintertime now. In the wintertime, if you live in a cold climate like I do in Michigan, uh, it's a wrap. I ain't getting down on my hands and knees in the winter time to change the oil. But other than that, um, you know, it's an easy job. So go ahead and hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment down below right now. Would you do your own oil change now that you see the process? You see how easy it is. And if you already been doing your oil change, let me know how much money you done saved off doing your own shit in the comment section below. But yeah, man, I'm out of here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and my uncle Bob's YouTube channel and my brother's YouTube channel because they all of, all of us got YouTube channels. Actually, I got the Rex with me. Rex. Actually, I got the recipe. Yeah. Actually, these niggas mad at me. Why? 
Mad at me, cause I smash this freak Damn, actually, ain't no cap with me No cap, your majesty, yeah bitch, I'm a king King